Boot Chaka English for Teens. Welcome to Boot Chaka English for Teens. I'm Alex Schroer. And I'm Jasmine Tharn. As always, we're here at the Yomiuri Tokyo head office. Let's get started by watching today's skit. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but I wanted to let you know I'm happy for you. Thanks, Kamal. I think he might be the one. So, when do we get to meet your other half then? No offense, but I don't know if you two would get along. I didn't want to tell you like this. I wanted to prepare you more. He hates ancient history. My heart can only take so much. I already don't like Rena's boyfriend. Yeah, who doesn't like ancient history? So weird. I'll try to reserve judgment until we meet him, but not off to a good start. Yeah, the news shocked Kamal so much that he said, My heart can only take so much. This is an example of the pattern, A can only be so much. A simpler way to say the same thing would be, A can't be anymore. Right, we use it to talk about something being at its limit, like, I can only study so much. <gasps> Just kidding, I can always study more. Good, because we aren't done talking about this point. Depending on the verb, we sometimes replace much with a different adverb. For example, this car can only go so fast. Right, or I can only hold my breath for so long. What are you trying to say, Jasmine? I'm sorry, Alex, but I'd appreciate it if you'd eat your natto in a different room. I can only take so much. I'm not angry at you, Jasmine. I'm sad for you. You've never experienced the joy of natto. <sighs> Our moteon point for today is about the accent on the word offense. This is a kind of tricky word. The meaning changes depending on the stress. In the article, Rena wanted to use the insult meaning, so she put the stress on the second syllable, offense. But if you want to talk about a sports team trying to score points, you might put the stress on the beginning and say offense. Offense is a kind of irregular word. In almost every case except the sports one, the stress comes on the second half. But for many words, there is a pattern you can follow. For many words, if the stress is at the beginning of the word, it's a noun. And if it's on the second syllable, it's a verb. For instance, record and record. Or present and present. So let's practice just a few sentences that feature these words. Repeat after me. I recorded the offense scoring a goal. Your present is offensive. I presented a record of the offenses. Ooh, nice one. That was a triple. Thanks. Actually, I have one more example. It uses 25 examples of this stress pattern. No offense, Alex, but I don't think our viewers want to hear that. But I worked so hard on it and... Okay, then. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. <laughs>